Okay guys, this is Bart. I am making a video about rock and art. I work part-time at Green Valley Decorative Rock and I see a lot of people that come in that want gravel for their driveway, they want gravel to decorate their yard, but a lot of people come here to find rocks or flagstone or other things to do art out of. And here's an example, you can see right here that's etched into a river rock. This is etched into flagstone, as is this one down here. And I know that there are people that come in and they choose flagstone to paint on. I got some good examples over here of other art on rocks that I wanted everybody to see. Aren't those beautiful? I'll just go slowly here, give you a good view. Some of these say keep or rehide, and there's, I guess, a Green Valley Rock Facebook group that that is a beautiful rock. This one here, I want to flip it over and show you what it says. I hope you can read it. I'll try to get right up on it here. Really beautiful. Put it back over here. It's just amazing. Um, people with artistic minds, they just find ways to brighten up our lives and do beautiful things with something as simple as a rock. One of the people that I've met is um, Lynn Gernsfield and her husband. They do a lot of turtles and other things. This was a Christmas turtle they did for Green Valley Rock. This is another turtle they did for us here that just is our mascot. And then right here they did a snowman. And you can see right on the bottom, SLG, Stephen Lynn Guernsey. So they did the snowman. Um, they also did this beautiful green pumpkin. And you can see back here, SLG, that's Stephen Lynn Guernsey. The previous owners of Green Valley Decorative Rock, that I guess the daughter of the previous owner made this pumpkin. Really beautiful. But anyway, I've got some other types of art that I'm gonna sh talk about and show you that I've seen since I've been here. But anyway, just wanted you to see and appreciate what people do with something as simple as rocks. Just wanted to quickly point out this beautiful butterfly on the green pumpkin I showed you earlier. Let me, there we go. Get the shine off of it. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, I am here with one of our Green Valley Decorative Rock Bucketeers that comes and shops for rocks like this to paint. Her name is Lisa Fitch. And she has all these ones to the left of the little arrow, or to the right of the little arrow there. I want to show you up close and personal for each one here. That one too, is that a lily of some kind? It's a calla lily. Calla lily. The sun. Boy, this one's pretty. This is a memorial painting on a rock for her dad, John Fitch, who passed away this year, uh, last year. late last year. And uh, she's going to go put it out at Torres Blanca's golf course, right? Yeah. And, uh, and then this one right here. So I'll come back out so you can see them all. But she loves to paint on the rocks, and I, I asked her if she would come back and show me some of her work, and she did, so here it is. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing that. Okay, so as we walk out the front door of Green Valley Decorative Rock, just to the right there is a nice bush, and I wanted you to see some of the other rocks that are out here that people have left. I'm going to kind of zoom in on some of them. There's a nice welcome rock. Little truck. Read that one. Beautiful. I really like that one with the eyes looking at you.
So if you stop by Green Valley Decorative Rock for any reason, feel free to take a look at the bush just to the left of the front door. Okay, that is the front entrance as you drive in to Green Valley Decorative Rock. Here's our office. And then out here I just wanted to quickly show you where the river rocks are so that if you want to use them or something else to make some art, you'll know where they are. So out here, as you can see, there are several piles of rock. The one to the left is really small rock, three quarter to one inch. The one right in front of us there is one to three inch river rock. And then just past that, there's three to eight inch river rock right there. And then we do have flagstone out here. There's a couple pallets with flagstone here. And you can just come and serve yourself. You just kind of pick what you want. Put it on that little scale right there, weigh it, and tell the office how many pounds you got, and you go home with it. Anyway, these are some of the rocks people use for art. Just a little further out into our yard, on the right, there's bin number four. And you'll see that this is what we call riprap. This is four to eight inch riprap. And the next one to it, number five, is two to four inch riprap. People will use these to make stackers that we talked about earlier. As you can see, there's some really good sized rocks in there. Some of them are nice and flat like that, so you can make amazing stackers. And again, this is called Coronado Brown Rip Wrap. This one's four to eight, that pile's two to four. So if you're coming in looking for rocks to stack, this is probably your location. These are just a few stackers that are in front of my neighbors, Keith and Petra's house. These are small and relatively simple. Kurt does some rather tall and elaborate ones. These are probably three, three and a half feet tall maybe. That's pretty cool. Kurt does them up to about six feet. Anyway, just wanted you to see a real life stacker in action. Okay guys, I stopped by Peter and Keith's house to visit again this morning and I saw this other stacker they have up near their house. And I wanted to show this one to you. Another form of rock art. That rock looks like it has a face in it, doesn't it? That is completely, as far as I know, that's natural. Check it out. Anyway, just wanted to show you this uh, rock art stacker. Thanks for watching. This rock was not one of our rocks, but it is beautifully painted and I wanted to show it in this video. The very last image is of a plan a woman was looking at to do in her yard, which is a rock garden. This type of project would take a lot of time and effort to pick out all the right size rocks and paint them all to make some type of garden that looks like this. I hope you all enjoyed seeing the beauty that these talented people add to our community through their art. I hope to have another video of a different kind of art coming up sometime in the future.